Today I'm hiring a new virtual assistant and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna walk you basically through my week of what it looks like to hire a virtual assistant in real time. And I'm gonna use a site called onlinejobs.ph which is my personal favorite site to find virtual assistants. I already have two VAs that I found from there and they've absolutely changed the game. They've absolutely revolutionized and made it so much easier to run my business. So I'm going back to find a third one and I'm gonna share with you exactly how to do it. So to get started, there's basically four or five steps. You first, you're gonna post your job and you don't have to post it on onlinejobs.ph. That's personally where I've had the most success. You can post it wherever. There's, there's other websites out there, I'm sure, where you can find a good VA. Step two is send a message to the ones that seem like they're actually qualified. Send a message with them and give them a sample project that they can complete. Now, of the people that complete the sample project, you'll interview them and that's step three. And then step four is hire the most qualified person and obviously get them up and running uh, with your job. So I'm gonna teach you exactly how I hire a virtual assistant and share with you all the tips I know. Let's get into the tactics. I'm really excited to be hiring a new VA and this is gonna be my third virtual assistant. And I've been putting this off for a little while, mostly because I wasn't sure if I had enough tasks for my VA to do. Uh, but then I started brainstorming, I started thinking of all these things that I wanted to do and I wanted to try out for my business, but I just didn't have the time to do. And I'm like, okay, it's time to hire that third virtual assistant. So for anyone that's new to the channel, my name is Travis and my main business, my main passion product is Performance Nut Butter. I sell it mostly on Amazon and also on my own Shopify website. There's a lot of things I could use a new virtual assistant for. Now I'm gonna start doing a weekly vlog like this where I talk about each week what I'm doing to grow that company. And this week I think the most important thing I can do is hiring another person because it's an extra 40 hours in a week that I get. But of course, that's not the only thing I'm gonna be doing this week. One big piece of news, one huge thing I haven't shared with you yet is I'm gonna be going and trying out for Shark Tank. I'm gonna be auditioning. It's an open call audition, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna be going for Performance Nut Butter and Ariana, my girlfriend, will be going for her passion product, Vino Cards, which I helped her release a, a few months ago. The auditions are next week and we're flying to Miami to go audition, so it'll be a little travel vlog slash business vlog. So this week I'm going to be preparing my speech and my presentation for Shark Tank. I'm also working on the passion product formula. It's a course that I'm going to be coming out with soon. I have a beta group of around 10 people right now that I'm walking through the process of helping them create their own passion product. As I mentioned, the first step is to put up your job post and I have a ton of tips on how to do that. So let's cut to a screen share and I'll show you step by step how to post your job as well as some tips to do it. The first step to posting your job is you're gonna to have to get an account. And as I said, it is paid. I usually just, I would go with the pro account personally. I do have the premium account because I do post a lot, but for most people out there, the pro account is fine. But after you've done that, after you've signed up, you're gonna to go to the main part of your account and just click post a job. Now I created a step-by-step -step guide on how to hire a virtual assistant. You can get that for free by clicking up over in the corner. Uh, it, and it's basically the document that I follow. So obviously, you know, it has all the different steps and even has a sample job post, which I'm gonna straight up copy for the point of this. So the title is gonna be Excellent English Writer for Social Media Coordination, blah, blah, blah. And then the description will be down below here. And there's some things in my description that I did very much on purpose that I'd recommend you do as well. So you'll notice that obviously I talk about what kind of tasks they're gonna be doing, that I am looking for a full-time employee. I also recommend if whenever possible get a full-time employee. I have not had great success with part-time employees, but if you can, you only need them part-time, then hey, obviously, you know, do that. I mentioned some of the perks, and for me, it's like you can work whenever you want. You can work as much as you want, and I'll pay you the more the more you work. Flexible vacation, if you need time off, just let me know. Talk about all the different benefits of working with me, because in a job post, it's a two-way street. You don't want to just talk about what you want from them. You want to talk about what you can offer them. So I did a little about me section, and then here is the most critical point. To apply to the job, I say you got to change the subject line, and I want you to change it to... I want to work for you and put the name of my mom, who's also a co-owner of one of my first companies. Then I have some further instructions saying, you know, write a few sentences on why you'd be a good fit for this position. And then I do some little other small things like what, 
talk about an article you've written before, come up with a description for this photo from my, from my Instagram. The whole point of this is to filter out people that are just automatically posting or that are bad. I want to make sure that I only spend time contacting people that are a good fit for my job. So that's why I have them jump through all these hoops. For the wage slash salary, put whatever you're willing to spend. And remember, uh, for the Philippines, $450 a month is a lot of money. And I put $450 to $750 because I am looking for an excellent English speaker, writer, someone that I don't need to check up on a lot. And for me, that's worth a, a lot of money. As I mentioned, I do full time. And then the last thing is you're gonna go through all these skills and just check all the different skills you want. For instance, English writing is important to me, so I'm gonna check that skill, and I'm gonna go through and, and check all the other skills I want for this position to have. Then just click post job, and from there, it's just a waiting game, and you're gonna get a ton of messages in your inbox. So the truth is, after you post your job on onlinejobs.ph or any of the different sites, you're gonna have to wait 24 hours for the messages to come in. Remember, they're on a different time zone, so you're not gonna get the messages right away usually. And if I sound a little bit off, a little bit loopy, I actually woke up at two in the morning today. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. I've been waking up really early. It's funny because I know I should be tired because I only got a few hours of sleep, but I seem pretty wide awake. And it's this thing where I feel like I should take a nap or I should go to bed, but I just don't have any desire to. It's always a little weird when that happens, but hey, I've got energy and I feel good, so I guess it doesn't matter how many hours of sleep I got necessarily. I also blended up a new flavor for Performance Nut Butter just to test in my kitchen, and it is ridiculously good. It's a regular Performance Nut Butter with a little bit of cacao added, and that might be part of the reason why, even though I only got four hours of sleep, I, I feel pretty good, and I feel like I have a lot of energy. The cacao has some some natural energy to it. There's some big changes, some big things happening with Performance Nut Butter. I actually just signed a document for a deal that I'll talk about in future episodes that's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a very, a very good thing, but it's still stressful for me anytime I have to get lawyers to look at a document, sign a document, all that kind of stuff. Anytime there's money on the line, it's a little scary for me. And um, in future episodes, I'll talk about exactly what's happening, but there's some nerve wracking things here. So anyways, uh, right now it's pretty much just a waiting game. I have some more random tasks that I need to get done and I have a few random fun things that I'm gonna be doing tonight to, to help pass the time. Every week I have a Skype meeting with both my VAs and last night I got some really bad news. One of my VAs decided to go from full time to down to part time which is almost the same as quitting because that means I need to hire two new VAs. So it's actually perfect timing that I just put up a job post. That means that of the people that applied, I'm gonna to need to find two people. It's been about 24 hours since I posted my job on onlinejobs.ph. Now I wanna see how many applicants to my jobs, how many messages I've got in the first 24 hours. Since last night, I've gotten 25 messages. So that's 25 people that applied within 24 hours, which is really cool. And what's even better is all these people are pretty qualified because they all followed my uh, directions for, for the most part. Um, this person, well, yeah, they all pretty much followed my directions and changed the subject line, which means that they're not just spamming. They're not just sending out a ton of applications. So these are 25 people that are pretty decent and followed the directions. Now, some people take what I said a little too literally. They, they kept the quotation marks in there, um, which is a little bit of a red flag, but I'll read. I'll still read their application and see if it makes sense. So at this stage, what I do is I go through and just one by one read what they wrote, see if they're a good fit, and if they're not a good fit, I delete them. Um, so right off the bat, I know this person availability 20 hours a week. I'm looking for a full time person, but I'll message them and see, hey, uh, I'm I'm looking for a full time person. Are you willing to do it? So now I'll read the messages, see if they're a good fit. And like I said, if they're not a good fit, I delete them. If they are a good fit, I'll send them a message. So I'm gonna go through really quickly and read all these messages and see who's a good fit. At This point I'm left with about 10 applicants. So from the initial uh, 25 or so, there's about 10 people that I actually think are good. A few of them, these two people, I had questions. They, they don't, I don't, in their profile, it said that they wanted to work 20 hours a week. I'm looking for someone full time. Um, so I'm not sure if that's a good fit. But at this point, now that I've got it narrowed down to the people I want, I starred the ones that I'm going to message uh, with the, the next step. What I do is I go over to the how to hire a virtual assistant, the, the guide that I talked about earlier. You can get for free. There's a link down below and email the applicants that you like. That's step three. I'm going to go down here 
and I have this new and improved Skype message. Um, and part of what it says to do here is you take this sheet, open it up, and this is going to be so that they can book, uh, book a time with me. So you'll see, take the sheet, open it up in Google docs and make a copy and then copy this message. Well, change it up. However you need to, obviously this message is more for me and then go over here and you send it. But, um, before you send it, you need to change this link to this link. Let me just change the date actually. And there's, and there's really two parts to this email. One is having them book an interview time. Um, but the other one is this sample project. So I'm giving them a sample project before I interview them. So I'm, I'm guaranteeing, I'm telling them that I want to interview you. You seem good enough, but then I give them this sample project, which says, you know, please email me at this certain email, um, take screenshots, you know, do all this different stuff. And, and basically what it does is it tests them to see if they're going to be a good fit for, for my company. Now, obviously if you're doing this sample project on your own, you're going to want to make your own sample project and, and switch out the link. But for me, this works. So I'm going to go ahead and send this message. Let me just copy it. Make sure I have the correct message, copy it, send, I'm going to send that message to all the different applicants. And that's it. Now I sent all those messages. I should be in the next few days getting sample projects back from these applicants. I should probably get more applicants within the next 24 hours coming in as well. And I'll just do that same process. I'm planning on doing all my interviews on Friday. So by the end of this week, I should know who I'm going to be hiring. So yesterday, Wednesday, I did get a few more applications uh, for the online, you know, virtual assistant position. But honestly, yesterday I didn't have that productive a day, or at least it didn't feel like that to me. I worked on the SOPs. Because when you hire a new VA, you gotta train them. And I don't wanna have to keep training new VAs over and over again. So I created a Google Doc with all the steps to do all the different things that we do. The other thing I did is I met with my passion, the beta group for my passion product formula. And I'm working on a course teaching people how to create their own passion products. Like I did with Performance Nut Butter and my girlfriend did with Vino Cards. And that's really cool. Like there's some people doing really interesting things in the beta group. I'll be giving out more information about that. But honestly, yesterday I didn't feel like I got that much done. And it felt like, uh, I just felt really, really lazy. And that's something not a lot of vloggers and stuff, entrepreneur, e-commerce people talk about is the ups and the downs. So yesterday was definitely a down. Also so far, three people have submitted their sample project. And I'll show you what the sample project looks like. By the way, it was raining earlier this week for the first half this week, and now it's just absolutely a beautiful day. I lived for two years in Chicago, and right now Chicago is basically colder than Antarctica, and here in Santa Monica, it's blue skies and sunny weather. Loving it. These are our oatmeal scones. Ariana did a great job making them. They're super delicious. They are not, uh, well, I guess they're gluten-free. They're not vegan, they're not paleo, they're not keto friendly, but they're absolutely delicious. Those look really good, babe. Mm -hmm. One thing that's been really helpful for me is I've actually been writing down what I'm gonna be doing every day in the morning time. And if you're interested in what I do every day from like a day-to-day -day perspective, I do post it on my Instagram, like my to-dos for the day. So you can check out my Instagram to see that. Today's Friday and today's the day I'm doing all the interviews for the VAs. So I'm only going to be interviewing the VAs that actually submitted the, the sample task that I gave them. And out of, I think, the 15 or so VAs that scheduled an interview, only six or so actually submitted the sample project. Uh, one of them actually did a really bad job on the sample project and I'll probably won't even interview that person. I'll probably just email them and let them know, I'm not going to interview you. But um, just to update you, yesterday, Thursday, I ended up going up to my buddy James and Tommy's warehouse. Uh, they both, it was originally I think it was James's warehouse, but Tommy's also uh, utilizing part of the space. And James helped me out a ton yesterday. He looked over my complete, like all my Amazon stuff and told me a bunch of different tips on how I can optimize it. So not next week, because next week I'm going to Shark Tank, but the week after that, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna do a vlog style on everything I'm doing to optimize my Amazon stuff. And I really think I can bump up sales by 30, 40, 50%. Like some of the stuff he told me was really good stuff and I'm gonna share pretty much all of it with you guys. So 
Uh, make sure you, you hit that subscribe button because you know, next week's Miami Shark Tank auditions, which will be fun. The next week after that is gonna be the Amazon episode. And then a few weeks after that, I'm actually going to the Philippines for a month. I'm gonna go meet my VA, my virtual assistant, and my whole team in the Philippines, which will be, I think, a really fun vlog. And last night after James helped me, we ended up going to Korean barbecue, which if you've never been to Korean barbecue, it's absolutely amazing. You, you, you have to go. Uh, you basically, you cook the meat, like right at the table. And I met up with, Tommy was there, and another friend of mine, Eric, who I've not uh, done a vlog or any kind of videos with. But we, but we ate so much that I ended up not getting a very good sleep last night and I woke up again at three in the morning or so. So that's why I came out here this morning to the park to just get a little bit of sun, film, film this video obviously. And I figured I'd take the opportunity to write down some of the tasks that I'm doing for the day. Uh, and as always, follow me on Instagram if you wanna see the kind of stuff that I do from a day to day perspective. But today I'm gonna show you what kind of questions you should ask a VA when interviewing them. And I'll show you some of like, my top, top secret questions. And as always, if you wanna get access to those questions, you can get the VA you know, success pack, VA hiring pack, whatever I'd call it. Uh, I'll put a link up here and down below. But I've got interviews scheduled most of the day today. I got some other tasks that I'm gonna do as well. Uh, but I'll show you some snippets of some of the interviews. Some question for you. If you could have a conversation with anybody alive or dead, who would it be and why? So where do you see yourself like in five years? Like, what do you wanna do? Like, what's your goal five years from now, 10 years from now? Like, what do you see yourself doing for work? Or do you wanna still be working then? Where'd you learn English? I mean, obviously in the school system, there's English, but your English seems to be a little bit better than uh, most people's English. What's your what's your goal uh, in life, like really? Now that I'm done with my interviews, it's time to figure out who I wanna hire and ultimately hire them. And I'll, I'll show you some quick clips of what it's like their first day on the job and um, some of my comments on how I like to introduce VAs and start working with them. I'll be doing that Sunday night my time because that's Monday morning their time. But first I gotta enjoy a little bit of the weekend. Ultimately, I ended up hiring three new virtual assistants, but uh, one of them, when I gave him the task, he was a little bit overwhelmed, and really, I was unsure if I wanted to hire him anyways, and so he, he quit basically right away. Uh, so I ended up hiring two new virtual assistants, uh, one to replace my old VA, which is going to part-time, and the new one, like I had wanted to. This entire process has made me realize that I need to work on my SOPs. I need to work on the whole workflow of what happens when I hire a virtual assistant. And next week, obviously, I'm going to Miami. Uh, but the week after that, I'm either going to be working on Amazon like I was planning to do and or working on my virtual assistant SOPs. Overall though, I think hiring these new virtual assistants is gonna be one of the best things I could possibly do. I'm really excited. I already have a hundred different ideas of all the different tasks I can give these VAs. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe down below so you can see what I'm doing next week and the week after that to grow my business. And other than that, most importantly, remember to enjoy the journey.